yogurt it was very tasty um i had to wake up really early this morning because somebody contacted me asking me to babysit so um i went and did that from like 7 to 10 uh 7 15 to 10 ish uh, and it was fun um it was three little kids and the little boy collected history cards um and had them kind of like you know, you would collect baseball cards they had historical figures landmarks places events all that kind of stuff like that so that was that was kind of cool kind of unique um so I, I did that and I came home and I exercised right after that and took a shower and stuff and so I'm just about to give Cooper his lunch. It's about that time. Um, as far as plans for the day, I'm going to keep working on my TUFL and then also be doing some laundry in between and I'll probably, probably sweep him off the floors because um, it seems like every no matter how much I sweep him off it, we're constantly tracking dirt in here from the snow. And now that the snow's melting, there's mud everywhere, so our shoes are just gross and dirty. Cooper's feet are just gross and dirty. Um, but as far as Cooper goes, his diarrhea, it, it had cleared up, but it seems like it's kind of come back. But we haven't changed anything. We've still been giving him the same medicine that the vet told us to, so just going to keep on with that and hope it completely clears up soon. Um, I'm making some broccoli and beef for dinner in the crock pot right now. That's one of my favorite recipes, um, even though I don't really like broccoli. Um, I still, I still enjoy that. But yeah, that is the only plan as of now. Um, also, my nails look great because all three kids painted them at the same time. So, um, other than that, I think I'm just gonna. I think the laundry's done, so I'm gonna beat Cooper and then throw that in the dryer. So. It's a Tuesday. Um, I have been working on Duolingo to practice Chinese, even though it's so frustrating sometimes. Um, there, there are ways, you know, that I learn Chinese that aren't on there, so it's a little annoying. But um, I, I also went to the commissary today and just got a few things. I didn't need to get much. Um, and I, I took Kubo for a nice long walk because it finally warmed up some today. So it. And it wasn't raining. It was pretty warm the last couple days, but it's been raining. So it was a nice day today. And so we walked around the whole loop back and forth uh, to one end to the other. Um, and so that was that was fun. Um, I'm just getting ready to work on my temple course again. My goal is to get at least two units done per day. Uh, sometimes I've gotten a whole module done, but uh, so, some of them, the units are really short, so it's easy to get through, and then some units are really long and take as long as it would take to do three other units, so um, just kind of trucking through on that. And I'm still having trouble getting a doctor's appointment for my physical. I've literally called 15 places, at least 15 places, and I can't find someone who can see me. It's this Tricare insurance is super confusing and how they want me to do it. I only The only people that said they could see me was an urgent care place, but they charge $100 for a work physical, and then I can ask my insurance to refund me, but we don't have an extra $100 right now. So I don't know how I'm going to start my new job. I'm also having trouble getting my proof of MMR vaccine. Um, I had to call the health department back back home but the only way they can get it to me is I have to sign a release and they're gonna mail it to me because apparently it's a HIPAA violation to email it to me but not to mail it or fax it which doesn't really make any sense to me because 
anybody could get a fax, anybody could get a letter. Like, that still doesn't prove who I am any more than if they emailed it to me, I printed it out, signed it, scanned it, sent it back. Um, so, you know, that would probably take a couple weeks, so I'm really hoping that this doesn't screw everything up and I don't get to actually do the job. Cooper's doing better today. Um, he's not as sick as he was. He's almost out of the prescription dog food, though, so hopefully once he's off of that, it won't make him kind of like he won't start getting sick again so i guess we'll see we're gonna have to start kind of adding in some of his old food so but other than that that's pretty much it for today um two's gonna start working pretty much just nine to five now if that's what they tell him usually it's a little bit after five or closer to five thirty by the time he gets off but uh But uh, yep, that's, they're working on the house below us. Um, the people moved out that were living there, so they're, uh, the people over these, uh, this housing, they're um, doing something, I don't know. They've been down there, okay, I think they're probably cleaning and stuff. Cleaning. I've heard some pretty rough things about the uh, housing here. And the thing is, if you want to live on base, you have to do it through the the privatized housing company here. You can't do it through anyone else, so it's kind of like they can be as crappy as they want because where else are you going to go? You don't have to live off base, but a lot of people want to live on base. Although I think once he, once we're both back after I go to China and he goes wherever he's going and does his thing, um, we're going to try to live off base. Um, I think a lot of people suggested just at least do it the first you know, year we're here, see how we like it, and we don't, not that much. It's, it's kind of nice because I guess he's closer to work, but he's still like 15 minutes away, so we could probably find somewhere off post that's not that much farther for him to go. So. But, you know, that's a long time in the future, so we'll just have to wait and see about that. So it's Wednesday, March 13th. Um, it's been a pretty crappy day right from the start. I mean, it's not really changed much. Um, this morning I had taken my diploma out of the diploma frame so I could scan it. And I left the frame laying by the couch and Cooper knocked it open and destroyed my graduation tassel. So, not really sure what to do now. I, I can't just get a new one. You know, they don't just sell those and um, it also wouldn't have the same significance as my original one so why would I even want a new one? But, you know, I bought a diploma frame specifically with the slot for the tassel. I turned around for like five, five minutes max and he had already gotten it out so. And then, um, after that, two left for work and I went to the, use the bathroom and I came back and he ripped up some mail. It wasn't important luckily, but it was still all over the place. And, um, he, he keeps uh, knocking stuff down. He jumped up on the mantle and knocked down his treats and tried to eat those. He's, he peed in the floor twice. He's just been awful today and I don't know what his problem is. Um, and I think after getting a dog, I've learned that I'm a cat person. Um, I mean, like, you know, I love Cooper, and he's, I know he's just a puppy, but kind of wish I would have got a kitten <laughs> at this point, because um, it's stressful, but what can you do? We got him now, so, <laughs> um, uh, but the one positive from today is that I finally managed to get a doctor's appointment scheduled to get, I have to get a physical for the daycare I'm going to work at and I have to also get a work visa physical for China. The place I got the doctor's appointment for today said that they're not sure if they can do the one for China. I don't see why not because it's pretty straightforward but if not I'll have to figure something else out and that's going to be fun fun fun. Um, but I called the HR place that I'm going to be working and I told them it would probably be a week before I can even get a physical and I have to wait to get the HIPAA thing in the mail and 
um, they told me though it's okay. So I was a little bit worried that they were gonna be annoyed that I was taking so long to get all this stuff done. But like I was trying, damn it, I called probably 15 places all together trying to get a doctor's appointment. And so yesterday I asked on a Facebook group that I'm in with some other people who live in this area, like in this neighborhood. Um, you know, who they see, because if obviously if they're going to see people who live on the same street as me, they're going to be willing to see me. And I called that place, which didn't show up um, initially on the search, so I don't know where that was. But I called that place today, and uh, they said they could see me next Tuesday, so i got to wait a whole week before I can go. But that's okay, because I'm just happy to finally get that taken care of. Other than that, I'm just working on my TEFL course some more. I'm gonna make um, pork chops for dinner with some some roasted veggies. I made these garlic aioli roasted veggies last week and they were really, really delicious, so I think I'm gonna make those again. Um, I, I probably should vacuum, but honestly, not in the mood. I'm in the mood to do anything today. I'm just really cranky. You know, I've been awake for maybe an hour when all this stuff started going down, so I, w I was eating breakfast, you know, I scanned the diploma and I sat down to eat my breakfast, and I have one bite of my of my egg left, one Cooper, I caught him, so um, by the time I came back, that last bite was cold and gross, so uh, hopefully things get better, I honestly might um, get ready and drive over to the PX just to get Starbucks because I have these uh, little the little baby bell cheese wedges that I got to have as a snack just just one of them for a snack in between lunch and dinner because that's what I'm the hungriest is between lunch and dinner and that's what I want to eat and it's taken every ounce of my body to not eat them all right now like it is a real struggle I got two different flavors because I wanted to try both see which one I like and um I mean, three of them so far. I ate two yesterday, one today. I'm really bad at counting. I had two yesterday and two today. So that's four. Because I have one after breakfast today and then I have one after lunch. So, um, but I, it's a real struggle to not just eat them all. Because whenever I get stressed and I get upset like this, all I want to do is eat. It's like the only thing that makes me feel better. And, um, abstaining from that is really hard so I think if I just leave for a while and go get something I normally get the refresher from Starbucks and it's like it's not the best thing to drink but it's better than you know eating a whole little cheese um, or eating a whole um, large ice cream from Sonic or chucking a large Dr. Pepper you know um, and the thing I get the refreshers they're like for the grande is like 90 calories, the venti's not much more than that, so, and, you know, they're just really, they're a pretty light drink, they're not, they don't have, like, a whole, whole lot of sugar and a whole, whole lot of uh, flavors and stuff added into them, it's, like, fruit and stuff, so, um, I recently tried the pink drink, which is, I, I didn't know what that was, so I was like, you know, hey, I'll try it, and it's basically the strawberry side refresher, which is what I always get, but then it has, like, cream, I guess, in it. So it just kind of tastes like strawberries and cream, but that was pretty good. I mean, I would drink it again. I would try it again. I had tried the, what is it, the mango dragon fruit or the something dragon fruit? The dragon fruit one. I didn't like that that much. It wasn't bad, but I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't drink it again. No. But, you know, it was okay. Like, I drank the whole thing. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it enough to want to drink it more. So, I'm probably going to finish this unit of the TEFL course before I go, though, because I started it last night, and the lady who I babysat for Monday morning, is that Monday? Yeah, Monday morning, um, she texted me yesterday and asked if I could watch the kids again last minute, um, because she needed to get a haircut, her husband's unit, or his... I don't know if it's a platoon or a um, company or what, but they're having some kind of ball 
and she needed to get a haircut. So they came over here, the kids did for like maybe an hour. Um, oh geez. Um, and you know, they just ran around and played with Cooper the whole time and um, you know, that, that was fine. Uh, but I didn't get a finish this unit. After they left, I was tired. Oh. I'm still tired, but after they left, I was tired. So I finished cooking dinner for me and two, and after we ate, uh, we watched a little bit of Netflix and then just went to bed. I was too tired. So, yeah. Dropped something. Um, I just noticed like half my face has been out of the like, frame a lot. I should probably sit up. But that doesn't matter because I'm probably going to go ahead and go, so. March 14th and I thought I would um, do a kind of grocery haul again. First thing is I just got a big old thing of eggs because we go through eggs a lot and I thought you know what may as well just get a big thing. It, it's um, Best Buy April 20th we'll eat it way before then so all right in this bag I have all of my freezer and refrigerator things <laughs> I once again used a plastic bag just to get um, uh, the raw meat. I didn't want it to touch the regular stuff. And I've kind of came to realize there's no point in freezing the meat every week since we eat it that week. Um, it kind of takes a while to defrost, so kind of what's the point? But I am going to freeze this chicken because the sell by date is tomorrow. Aww. The sell by date is tomorrow. So. You know, it was like a a lot cheaper that way. So I said, you know, I'll just get it and freeze it. Gonna make the spinach and feta turkey burgers again. And this ground chicken, which looks very similar to the ground turkey, that is for um, tonight. For some buffalo chicken flappy joes. Then I got some pork chops. I try to get the ones that look like they have the least amount of fat on them because two absolutely hates fat on his meat. Um, ground beef for meatloaf and then I don't actually have a plan for these but Walmart either has a bunch of them or none of them so I am going to freeze these as well because I don't know when I'll use them but I know I will use them. Um, I like to use them for the broccoli and beef and for some uh, steak and potato recipes but uh, yeah either Walmart has they had a whole probably 12 of them today but the last two times I went they had zero so I just try to kind of get it uh, ahead of time so we've got some turkey pepperoni which I've been using sometimes at breakfast most of the time this is like a little snack I'm almost out so I got a couple more feta cheese for the feta turkey burgers some beef bologna because two likes bologna for some reason. I like bologna too, or I did as a kid, but now it, I kinda think it's gross. Um, some hard salami for me for my sandwiches. I'm gonna put the shrimp in the freezer. That's for some sweet and spicy shrimp that I like to make. The zucchini in it. Jesus. The frozen chopped spinach. Which I got because that is what the turkey burger calls for. And then just some different yogurts. They were out of the powerful yogurt, but this Oiko stuff seems to be basically the same thing. So I just went ahead and got some of those. Alright, this is the bag of... Um, I guess they're not technically dry because some of them are liquid. But there's stuff that doesn't go in the fridge or the um, refrigerator except for... I probably refrigerate the cheese and the soy sauce and these things, but they come from the dry area. I'm really weird and organize my things when I go shopping, so some just plain old breadcrumbs. I use that a lot. Light brown sugar. Some olive oil because we're almost out. Uh, grated Parmesan because we are out. Less sodium soy sauce, garlic salt, and minced onion. Um, we're almost out of garlic salt, and I use that a lot in my cooking. So, 
And then we got chipotle aioli and garlic aioli. And I'm obsessed with at least the garlic one, but my husband really likes the chipotle one. It's delicious on anything. Um, I even use it to season vegetables when I'm um, uh, baking them, roasting them. It's great. They're great on, it's great on sandwiches. I'm not as crazy about the chipotle one, but that's the one that two likes, so I've got them both. Alright, this is a bag of produce and bread because, you know, I don't want the bread to get squished. So, I got some buns for the burgers next week as well as Sloppy Joe's tonight. Um, normally, I've been doing the buffalo chicken zucchini thing, but I honestly just, I, don't know, I really don't feel like eating that. Like, it's just sounds really unappetizing to me for some reason. Normally, I really like them, so we're just going to do it on buns for this time. Um, so everything bagels for two. He's been eating these in the morning. Um, I love everything bagels, but I'm sticking to just the, just the eggs and sometimes bananas for breakfast. Once again, Walmart only sells lemons in packs of three, so uh, maybe lemons are out of season or something, or maybe they're hard to get up in New York, I have no idea, but I needed lemons for a, to make lemon chicken piccata, bananas, put the banana pancakes, and also I just leave them at my Peru's oh, all the time sitting in the crock pot because I don't really... A lot of space on the counter. These two are gonna go in the fridge. Some more zucchinis though. I'll cut them up. I'm gonna make zucchini. I'm gonna try to make baked zucchini fries next week. I actually may fry them in the air fryer though instead of baking them, but we'll see. And some asparagus. We haven't had asparagus in a while, so I just kind of thought, you know, that'll be good with the lemon chicken piccata, I think. So. And finally, things that aren't food. Um, didn't really need much in that department. Just got some more sponges because I'm down to my last one. And this Gojo hand soap for two because he has so much oil on his hands when he. It's not Gojo. That's the brand he wanted, but Walmart didn't have them. But this is the same thing. Um, I got him that because he has so much oil on his hands after work and he wanted something to wash it off with. So this is supposed to be for that. And that. That is all. Joe, where are you going? back a little bit ago from the dog park with Cooper. Um, I was reading a book on my phone and he was just kind of running around like crazy. I forgot to bring him a ball or anything. Um, but we stayed there for almost 20 minutes and then um, six other dogs all showed up at once. It was um, two ladies came together and they had four dogs between them. And then another girl got there who had uh, like a little tiny dog. I'm not sure the breed is a little tiny curly brown thing and then somebody else showed up right after them with um, another dog so uh, at first he was super excited and running around and playing with them and um, thought it was gonna go okay but then one of the dogs was really aggressive and was like pushing over all the other dogs and growling at them and snapping at them and it actually was biting one of the other dogs as we were leaving it like I the other dog kind of crying out um but so that made Cooper really afraid and he was afraid to play with any of them he just kind of was like when they would come up to him he would like put his head down and put his toe between his legs and try to like hide up against the fence and so since he was so scared we decided to just go home so we um left uh, right after that and just walked back home and he is pooped out now so he's taking a nap um, um, but other than that, it was a good time. It's almost 60 degrees today here, so it's pretty nice, pretty warm. Um, Adele is clutching Cooper's tennis ball right now on the floor, so that's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to, as you probably can guess, work on my temple course some more. Um, I'm right about halfway through, um, because there's six modules with four units in each module and I've done the first two of the um, of the fourth module 
so I have three more to do, three more modules. So I'm right around halfway done. Um, I have until April 30th, I think, to complete it. I think. So, um, but other than that, no real plans. Gonna have those sloppy joes for dinner. Um, I may actually go ahead and start making those soon because the children.